I'll be showing you seven microsas examples that are all browser plugins. For each of these examples, we'll be taking a look at their revenue, founder, and what the microsas product does. Let's dive right into our first example here called chat GPT folders. It does a self-reported $3.6,000 a month in recurring revenue, and it was founded by Edmund Young. It integrates a folder system into chat GPT as well as Claude, allowing for better chat organization so you can boost your productivity. This product has been built as a painkiller as it's a problem that users experience daily. One of the standout features of this product is the prompt manager, which allows users to store and reuse their custom prompts. It even supports prompt variables which allow for more flexibility. Overall, we can see they have around 8,000 users as well. Our next example is called Blue Dot. It's an AI-powered Chrome extension for Google Meet. It does a self-reported $5,000 a month in recurring revenue. It has two co-founders, one being Russ Haliloff. They built this software to solve their own problem, and it was taking notes during meetings. It's trusted now by thousands of people at companies like the New York Times, Bumble, and Etsy. They support tons of languages, and it's a meeting recorder you'll enjoy, and it's not going to require bots to have to join the meeting as well, so it's going to be less intrusive. And it's super simple to use. All you have to do is record your meetings. It's going to generate meeting notes from the recordings. And you can automatically share these notes to Slack, Notion, or your favorite CRM. Our next example is called GuideJar, browser extension that makes it super easy to create product demos or interactive guides. It's doing a self-reported $1.6,000 a month in recurring revenue. It was founded by Cherie, and the inspiration for this product came from their previous experience at other startups where they hated to have to record and then edit product demo videos. So GuideJar makes that super easy. You just have to hit start capture in the Chrome extension. Once you're done walking through something, you hit stop, and then you can edit all the clicks, annotation, and text to make it easy for someone to understand. From there, it makes it super easy to share that recording. Next up, we have what is called table capture. It does a self-reported $2,500 a month in recurring revenue, and it was founded by George. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you wanna build your own microsas product. That's where I have you covered with a complete step-by-step -step academy that's gonna show you how to build launch and profit from your very own microsas even if you don't have any product ideas funding or SaaS experience there's a link in the description below so make sure you check that out there i also have some microsas ideas you can steal for free there's a link for this in the description below as well all you have to do is enter in your email george originally started this product for himself because the brokerage account they were using really didn't have a great way to interact with the tables. This Chrome extension actually has 200,000 users and it gives you the ability to easily capture tabular data in websites for use in a spreadsheet. In terms of how they generate revenue, it's with a pro license, but they do have a free plan as well. And it has really good reviews at a 4.3 stars with over 100,000 people using the Taper Capture plugin on Chrome. Next up, we have AMZ Downloader. It's a microsas product that makes it super easy to download Amazon product images and videos. As without this extension, it's a very slow process and it does a self-reported $340 a month in recurring revenue and it was founded by Tetrev. And it was actually built using the no-code tool Bubble as the founder wasn't able to find a developer themselves. And currently there are over 100 paying users for this product. Next up is a microsas called AutoSwiper. It was founded by Andreas Reinhold and it does a self-reported $5.1,000 a month in recurring revenue. And it's a browser extension, which is an auto swiper for Tinder, Bumble, Badoo, Lovo, and more. So you can spend less time swiping and more time dating. They have over 3,000 registered users and over 4 million left page and 15 million right swipes on a monthly basis. So overall, you can set your preferences and do more swiping automatically. Our last browser plugin microsas example is called Vocal, which lets you send voice notes via email. It does a self-reported $2.8,000 a month in recurring revenue, and it was founded by Nathan Ganser. And it was built because the founder was always sending voice messages in other messenger apps, but they always wanted the ability to do so in the inbox. So Vocal does doesn't require any app and it works with Gmail, Outlook, and more. They've had over 75,000 messages being sent using Vocal and it allows you to save up to two hours per day 
as voice messages are 10 times more efficient than typing. And as of March 14th, 2024, they are now profitable as well. So this is going to conclude the video here on Microsoft browser plugin examples. If you enjoyed this content, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions or feedback, or you just want to let me know what your favorite example was, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.